everyone and welcome back to Next Stitch Designs with me Sylvia. In today's video I am going to show you how to crochet this beautiful cowl or neck warmer. For today's neck warmer, I will be using this Simply Aran yarn, but of course you can use any yarn you like or prefer. You will also need a yarn needle. I will be using 4 millimeters hook. You will need a pair of scissors, a tape measure and also these clips will be very handy later on. Optional, you will need three buttons. It's up to you what buttons you will get. I will have these beautiful butterfly buttons. First, we are going to start with the slip knot. Hold your yarn and like so, wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross. Go under this first one on top of the second one, pull it down and twist your hook. And this is your slip knot. Now, we are going to chain 30 or any multiple of 2 plus 1. So for my cowl, I am going to chain 30 plus 1. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, so 2, 4, 6 and so on. And then we will add one more. So I chain 30 and I'm going to add one more chain and this chain will be my turning chain. For this cowl, we are going to work alpine stitch. So we added one more and now we are going to work single crochet into this second stitch from the hook. So we are not counting this one. We will work into this one right here. So insert your hook, yarn over, bring it up two loops, yarn over and finish your single crochet and that's your first single crochet. And we will work single crochet in every stitch across like so. So continue placing single crochet in every stitch across. I am at the end of this row one and I was placing single crochet. So I have one more single crochet into this last stitch here and chain two. Turn your work and now we are ready for row two. For row two, we will be placing double crochet. So we chain two and our first double crochet will be right here. Okay, so this stitch is with our chain two. So we're not working into this one. We'll be working into this one here. So we'll be placing double crochet, so yarn over, insert, bring it up, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And that's your first double crochet. And we will place double crochet in every stitch across. Like so. So you'll be placing double crochet in every stitch across. So I am at the end of a row two and I have last two double crochet. As you can see, don't forget to work into this very last stitch as well. Place double crochet and chain one. Turn your work and we'll be placing again single crochet for this row three. 
and we are going to start right here where is this chain of one coming from so inside this little gap here so place your first single crochet and in every stitch across all the way down and once you get to your last two stitches i show you what to do next so i am at the end of a row three and i have this double crochet here and i also have this chain of two as you can see from the top so i will place a single crochet into this one here and then my last single crochet will be on top of this chain of two like this so this will keep your edge nice and straight again we will chain two and turn our work and we are ready to work on a row four for row four we'll be working front post double crochet and double crochet so we are not going to work into this one here but we will work into this one here so here we will do our first front post double crochet so we are going to yarn over like so go from the back to the front like this yarn over bring it up and yarn over pull through two and pull through two and this is your first front post double crochet and behind this front post double crochet will be a stitch which is this one here as you can see because this belongs to our chain two we'll be skipping this stitch because this front post double crochet will cover it like this okay next we have this double crochet here and on top of this double crochet right here we'll place only normal double crochet so yarn over insert and do normal double crochet like this into the next one right here because we work double crochet on top of this double crochet so now we will do again front post double crochet into this one here and again yarn over go from the back like this yarn over and i forgot it to say bring the loop really high like this and this will create your front post double crochet really well and it will look really nice and finish your front post double crochet like this again behind this front post double crochet will be a stitch as you can see here this one here so we will skip that one because this front post double crochet will cover it nicely so we will work again on top of this next double crochet and we will do normal double crochet like so so we place normal double crochet on top of this double crochet so we will work again into this next double crochet and we will do again front post double crochet bring the loop higher pull through two and pull through two like this and again behind this stitch will be stitch this one here and we will cover it with our front post double crochet so we'll simply just keep it and again on top of this next double crochet you will place no more double crochet and so on you will repeat it all the way across until you have only last four stitches left and then i show you what to do next so as we place double crochet on top of this double crochet next one will be again front post double crochet remember stitch 
behind this front post double crochet we're skipping so we will place normal double crochet on top of this double crochet and so on and i am at the end of this row four and i have only one two three four double crochet left and i have just finished my front post double crochet so again on top of this double crochet next one will be normal double crochet and again this will be my front post double crochet and i will have two double crochet left like this and on top of these two double crochet i will place one double crochet on top of this double crochet here and then i will place one double crochet on top of this chain of two like this chain one and turn your work after every row when we do front post double crochet and normal double crochet we will always chain one and we will place single crochet okay so in this row five you will place again single crochet into this very first one like this and in every stitch across and once you get to your last one i show you what to do next and at the end of a row five i have double crochet here and then again chain of two so i will place single crochet here and remember always place single crochet on top of this chain of two as well because this will keep your edge nice and straight chain two and turn your work and we are ready to start row six for row six we will do something a little bit different we are not working into this one but we will work where is your front post double crochet you will place normal double crochet where is your normal double crochet you will do your front post double crochet and that's how we are going to alternate okay so this is my first front post double crochet so on top of this front post double crochet i will place my first normal double crochet like this okay so don't work into this same stitch here where is your chain of two coming from but work on top of this front post double crochet now next is my normal double crochet so i will do front post double crochet and you already know how to do it so yarn over and go from the back put the loop higher pull through two and pull through two like this again behind this front post double crochet will be a stitch as you can see here this one here this one so as you can see this front post double crochet will cover it nicely so we're not working into that one we will simply skip it and again this is my next front post double crochet here so we will place normal double crochet on top like this okay and that's how we are going to work so again next is my normal double crochet so into the normal double crochet i will do front post double crochet again put the loop higher and that's how we are going to work all the way across so next one is my front post double crochet so on top of this front post double crochet i will do normal double crochet and remember after every front post you create there will be always stitch behind as you can see here so here and here and we're not working into that one because this front post double crochet will cover it nicely so i have just worked my double crochet on top of this front post and next one is my normal double crochet so i will do front post double crochet so that's how you are going to work all the way across and again at the end i show you what to do next so i am at the end 
and I placed my front post double crochet here. The next one is a front post double crochet here. So on top, I will place just normal double crochet. And next one will be front post like this. And again, behind this front post will be stitch. So you skip that one. And into this very last one, you will place double crochet like so, chain one. And again, you will be placing single crochet once you turn your work like this. So you will always place row of single crochet once you finish row with front poles and normal double crochet. Okay, so we basically need to go back and start to work on our alpine stitch. So again, into this very first one, we will play single crochet all the way across. I have only, I placed my last single crochet on top of this double crochet here and I have only chain two left. So don't forget, always place your last single crochet on top of the chain of two. Chain two and turn your work. We'll do again a row with front post double crochet and normal double crochet. But this time, as you can see, we are going to work into this normal double crochet. If you have normal double crochet, you will simply do front post double crochet. And again, when you have front post double crochet, you will do normal double crochet on top. So that's how you will work on your pattern and simply repeating it, alternating. So once you have double crochet like here, you will do front post double crochet. Once you have from post double crochet, you will do normal double crochet on top and so on. So you will be repeating this pattern like so. Super nice and beautiful. So again, I'm going to show you one more time. So this is my first normal double crochet. So you already know you will do front post double crochet. Next will be front post double crochet. So you know you will do normal double crochet on top. And remember, once you do your front post, there will be a stitch which you need to skip because this front post double crochet will cover it nicely. So I place my double crochet on top of this front post double crochet. So next, as you can see, is normal double crochet. So I will do front post double crochet into that one and again that's my front post so on top i will do normal double crochet and again so on you will repeat this row like this simply alternating and again as you can see i have only these last two front post and normal double crochet so my last front post double crochet was here and on top of these two i will do just normal double crochet here and into the chain of two i will do again normal double crochet here so chain one and turn your work and work your single crochet all the way across and then you will do front post double crochet and normal double crochet and you will alternate every row so you will work on this pattern like so alternating the rows so the length for our cowl will be about 31 inches or in centimeters it's 79 centimeters and i like to finish my cowl with a single crochet row okay so once you have the length one more thing i wanted to say you can do it even longer if you like but the longer you you make your neck warmer the bigger gap you will get right here 
once you fold it the correct way like this and it doesn't matter which side you can fold it this way or you can fold it the other way so once you have the length you need we simply going to fasten off here so just leave it longer like so and fasten off and we are going to hide the ends with the yarn needle we'll hide the ends in your last single crochet row like this and also on the other side next we are going to once you have your ends hidden nicely we are going to fold it like this so one side and the other side like this and you will simply match this side with the bottom of this side here like this and right here okay and this will be your opening for your head not to worry we will sew from here to here and this will be very big so not to worry you can't squeeze through because this will open a lot so one more time we will fold it like this and like this and match the sides here and sides here so you will have a big diamond shape we are going to sew so first we'll be using these clips if you don't have them you can also use the bags i am going to place these clips like this here and here so when we sew it won't move okay just make sure it's sitting nicely and then one here like this so we will be sewing here and all the way up next prepare your yarn and your yarn needle so to sew we are going to start here we will sew all the way down and we will go all the way up now you will find this corner here you will get your yarn needle and you will go from here like so you can also tie a knot like this and hide the inside as you sew so you can just hide the inside like this and so make sure you will catch both sides and i will simply do normal stitch so i will go from the bottom like this from the top and go close to the edge so so all the way down and then you will end up right here where is your corner
So I am nearly at the end right here and as you can see this is my corner here so I will do about two stitches in one place like this and one more and I go right between like this And on this bottom part, just do the knot like so. And you can simply just hide it in like this. And go back. And you can fasten off. Okay. So we have some from here all the way down and finished right here. Is your opening big enough? So this is universal size and also for any gender for men you can change the color maybe light gray or dark gray or dark blue it's up to you and for the last part i decided to add the buttons it's optional you can of course add the buttons and you don't have to it's up to you as this part will be opening and you can also fold it around your neck like this as you can see so I will be placing the buttons right here so they are not in the way but of course you can place them here you can place them here it's up to you and also you can place as many as you like so I will go with these three beautiful butterflies I will show you one and then we will do the rest of the camera so first i will place my first one here so i just go from the inside and then i go back again and do the knot you can do two knots and leave this longer so we can hide it later on and don't go through both go only through this top layer okay so bring the bring the button and go from there and this yarn is really strong so it's enough if you just go once and then you just leave these ends longer and you simply tie a knot like this you can do two three and it will be very strong you can hide this later on with your yarn needle and of course all the ends so continue sewing your buttons the way you like or prefer as many as you wish and you can do big gaps or small gaps it's up to you so i will place my buttons like this and this is it this is our beautiful neck warmer you will simply just open it like this and place it over your head you can also very like so so we just fold this top part like this this is the back and it's looking amazing i really love this alpine stitch and i will be making more projects with it so don't forget to like it share it and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel unique stitch designs 
For more ideas from me, Sylvia. Thank you very much for watching.